What's up everybody? So, it's kind of an impromptu video, um, but what I wanted to do is explain what I'm doing, what's up with the Yak Bus, Yak Outdoors, toured, kind of bring it full circle from uh, where I was a year ago from now in Australia, traveling around the country of Australia uh, for the government of Australia, helping them to grow their entrepreneur community and basically how we got to this place. So last year about this time, I had a really interesting, cool company called Toured. Um, we had about 3,200 tour operators who were managing their reservations on our back end. We had about 11,000 tours um, going in the system. And it was really cool. The whole idea of that was basically to create like an Airbnb style model for adventure tourism so that we could take the data of those reservations and turn around and create API services for other companies to source the information for those reservations and ultimately help tour providers book more reservations. The hard part about that was the things that I love about travel, especially adventure travel and tourism and being outside and exploring, is I didn't get to do those things. I was in an office or in my office constantly programming, having meetings. When I was in Australia, I spent the entire time traveling around the country for the most part, talking to other people, helping them to understand how to take a business, take an idea, turn it into a business, figure out if that's a business that somebody wants to, to spend money on and to pay for, and then ultimately how to scale it. And while that was really fun and it was a cool experience, it left me lacking uh, quite a bit. Before I launched Toured, I wanted to spend my time just outdoors, hunting, fishing, backpacking, camping, doing all kinds of things. And when I was in, Aust when I was in Australia, about February, so about a half a month or a month from, from today, uh, last year, I found myself thinking about this almost 100% of the time. And that's when I decided that I wanted to start an outdoor gear company, which would put me outside uh, as often as I could be. But I didn't want to just create a backpack. I didn't just want to create tents. I didn't want to create just more stuff that was on the market. I wanted to create something that was actually really incredible. It was high-end, super useful, direct to the consumer, um, similar to the model that Kuyu has used. And I went to work on building um, prototypes for that backpack system. I also realized, and this is what we do as entrepreneurs, we're trying to figure out constantly how we fund our projects, especially in the beginning when you don't have funding, when you don't have sales, when you don't have customers of any kind, and you're just stuck with an idea that's burning a hole in your soul that you really, really want to just make, make real and bring out to the world. So while I was in Australia, I started trying to figure out how exactly could I do that. And there was two ideas that came to me. The first one revolved around how do I just minimize all my expenses down to like my bare essential needs and be able to save up all the money that I was uh, earning so that I could turn around and spend that money to build the company that I wanted. And two things happened from that. So here's the two things. One, I realized that in order for me to get ahead, I had to step back for a moment and do something that was um, pretty incredible. And it was really hard, and very few people actually know about it. Right now, I'm filming from my shop. Now, when I was in Australia and I was getting ready to come back, I had a fixed amount of money that I knew that I could use towards building this dream that I had. And I knew that I needed a place to work from, but I also knew that I needed a place to live, and I couldn't do both. So I rented a shop um, in amongst other shops. Um, there's mechanics, there's medical marijuana people that, live, that are in this area. Um, there are people who do spray foam, construction projects, all kinds of things. So I rented a shop. And since June of last year, I've been living in this shop in my tent, um, 
sleeping on the on the cement essentially with a foam pad and some carpet and um, yeah has not been comfortable has not been amazing it has been one of the hardest things I've ever done so that's part one and that's just me being real like that's that's where I've been for the last uh, you know six eight months and most people would never know um, because I don't talk about it I just do what entrepreneurs do and get after the hustle and figure out how to make it happen but while I was in Australia, I also realized that I needed a place to live and living in my shop wasn't going to be a long-term option. So I decided I was going to take an old school bus and turn it into a luxury tiny home. And for a lot of people that sounds really crazy, but it's my kind of crazy. Um, but when you think about it, really, what's an RV? An RV is just a frame with a house built on it or a cabin or whatever you want to call it a place where you sleep where you eat um, that you use to travel around a bus makes an incredible platform for that because it's completely scratch um, there's there's nothing inside of it once you take the seats out so you have an open canvas on how to build um, whatever you want so I live in Whitefish Montana which is a ski resort and there are some of the craziest amazing uh, luxury homes that you've ever seen um, all around me and being able to have that as inspiration have this blank canvas as a school bus and be able to really just take whatever beautiful thing I find in one of these luxury homes or an idea and make that my living space and I'm gonna do that for the next three four months it's gonna take me to build it and then I plan on living on it for the next three years now, why would I live on a school bus? Well, why would someone who's retired live in their RV? It's cheap. In this bus, it has an office, has work desk, um, it has a stove, full-size bed, freezer, refrigerator, bathroom, shower, everything that I need to live and sustain. It also has a place for my sewing machines, for my tools. I can tow my Mercedes behind it. Um, in a big trailer that has all of my supplies and things in it. Um, it's got, it's going to have under, undercarriage storage bays where I can store all kinds of things. It's going to be really, really cool. But the real reason that I wanted to do that was because in order for me to get ahead, I needed to focus on my expenditures. It's hard to make money in Montana. Anyone who lives here knows that. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of different jobs and a lot of different things, but a lot of times you kind of just get stuck and I'm tired of being stuck. And even though I've been an entrepreneur and I've traveled around the world and I've done a whole bunch of amazing things, I still feel stuck. And what I really ultimately want to be doing is building Yak. So I'm going to build this bus and I'm going to build my company out of this bus. I'm going to travel around the country and I'm going to travel around um, taking this backpack to people who hike, to people who camp. I'm going to blog about it on Toured. I have yakoutdoors.com uh, where we're ultimately going to start selling it um, or do a Kickstarter here sometime in March or April. And really be able to fulfill what makes me happy, which is getting out and exploring. But when you think about it, the amount of money that I make every month, if I saved the majority of that, or if I could save the majority of that, I could actually buy a pretty incredible piece of land um, over the next three years. Because just the savings on rent alone um, over the next three years, if I was able to save just what I would put towards rent, um, I would probably be able to save about $40,000. And that's a pretty healthy down payment on a, any piece of property, let alone um, something that gives you lots of acreage to be able to kind of do whatever you want and to build whatever you want. Um, so again, a blank canvas, a platform to be able to create. So that's what I'm doing. I'm living in my shop currently. I'm getting ready to move into a different shop where I can actually uh, hold the bus and be able to work on it and um, have a workshop side by side with where the bus is stored and be able to uh, have these two shops that are side by side. And over the next three months, I'm going to keep on making uh, videos and content and show you the, the building of the project and 
everything that goes into it and the ups and the downs and and uh, just show you everything that I can about what it takes to to build the school bus and really it's a metaphor for being an entrepreneur it's really taking a blank canvas having an idea and executing it and Yak Bus is just a initial platform it's the beginning of a much larger project which is Yak Outdoors um, which I'm really really excited to to be able to do but in order for me to be able to focus on Yak Outdoors I need to be able to have a place that um, I can live so building Yak Bus fully off-grid, um, fully self-sustainable, uh, 100 pounds of propane on it, solar power, generator power, we'll be able to take shore power, 100 gallons of fresh water, fridge, freezer, um, everything that you would need in order to be able to sustain. And once it's done, I'll be able to take that thing anywhere. So if I want to go fishing down in Bozeman for, for two months, I can just go park it by the river somewhere, work, fish, work, fish, work, fish, and just be happy. Um, if I want to take it to the northern Northwest Territories uh, in Canada and fish and, and do the same thing, I can. If I want to go to Alaska, I can. If I want to go down to Florida, I can. I can take it anywhere and that's the goal. Anywhere the, the inspiration comes to continue to build and to, to thrive, I want to go. And I'm going to blog about it on tour and it's going to be fun. So I hope you guys um, join me on that journey. Um, you know, again, this is something I, I don't generally talk about, um, you know, things that are going on in my personal life, but uh, here's a little insight into that. You're going to be seeing a lot more of my day-to-day -day, um, over the next few months, and uh, I just hope you, hope you join me. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my Instagram, um, become a Patreon if you'd like, just say hi anything. Um, but I look forward to you guys' support and encouragement and uh, don't think I'm too crazy because when it's done, I guarantee you're going to want to see it. All right? Later.